Uh, I wanted to talk a bit about uh, the idea behind uh, how we go there, uh, our organization, and the uh, challenge we're going to do together with Open Food Facts. Uh, and the philosophy behind it is actually the uh, de democratic power of data. Um, and I was wondering if anyone knew the uh, program uh, Pivot. It's Yes, yeah, it's in the Netherlands it was quite popular when we were ch children. And it's actually this uh, animation software where we can lay, make like little stick figures uh, do silly things, as you see in the uh, example. And um, yeah, it's just stupid, but the idea behind animation is actually quite nice because you can really create your own world and you can decide on the way your world feels and the way it looks and the way things interact. And, you know, for simple uh, animations like these, when you only have a few elements, you know, it's quite clear when you want to make a decision on, you know, what element to put next or uh, the way they move. Uh, but when it gets more complex, uh, you actually need uh, data, like complex animation software. They do have data. Maybe go to the next slide, please. Uh, and based on these data, you know, like, where the objects are, the way they're going to move, the way they're going to interact. So, example, for example, when you have, like, an elephant animation, you can have like, uh, you can know the effects about, am I doing this? Sorry. No. Anyways, uh, so for example, um, for, uh, when you have an elephant animation, you ca can know the effects of an elephant, um, uh, which are, for example, in my world, I decided when an elephant steps on you, it hurts. Or it can eat you when you're a tree, you know? And you can take these things into account. You can take this into account to decide whether, for example, you want to make an animation with a lot of happy Dumbos, or you think, like, maybe it's not so good, and then you have, like, only one little sad Dumbo. And this moment of choice is actually quite interesting, because it's not only a conclusion, uh, it's, only, it's also uh, a way uh, or, or a decision you make uh, on the way the world uh, needs to work. And this is actually what also happens, we believe, in the real, real world. Uh, we believe that every choice you make, every time you stand in a supermarket or decide on the way you travel, it's a democratic choice where you say, we want the world to, to work this way, to move towards this way, and to work towards these values. So that's what Hari Gover is uh, all about. Um, we are about uh, sustainable choices, and we want to make clear what the impact is, uh, or like, yeah, the, the what, like the data, so we are building an app to make it more feasible for people, but we're also zooming in about how, because, you know, a choice is not just rational, it's also emotional, and we want to know more about the impact, because with HyperGovair, we uh, don't believe in like a top-down or bottom-up structure of society, we have a more holistic perspective, where we are like one big network, and every decision you make uh, can affect other parts of the network. And when a lot of people within the network make a certain decision based on a certain value, it actually gets more and more likely that society will change that way. Um, but we are still in need of more data, uh, like everyone, I think, here. Uh, so we're going to try uh, to try to gather that in the Netherlands, and we're starting with the Alternative Meat Challenge uh, together. Uh, with open food facts, uh, because we think like if you take it category per category and try to get as much as data, it's easier than just to you know throw it out in the world. Um, but actually, uh, we are ne in need of. Uh, if you go, can go to the next slide, uh, we are in need of a bit more armor because at the moment the strategy is kind of like just asking politely and having other people asking politely, like other sustainability organizations. But uh, we have a feeling that there is much more to do, like, I don't know, some activism or uh, maybe some cultural things uh, to, to integrate. So we're actually really curious if you have any ideas or any experience in that, in that kind or in that direction. So please hit us up. Uh, Sarah and Peter are also here. Uh, we're very interested. Uh, because, yeah, to end this, uh, we think it's really important to give people uh, the power of the daily choice as a democratic tool. Because at the moment, the daily choice is actually something people really struggle with and uh, people feel really angry about, uh, at least in the Netherlands. But actually, this, this struggle can be, in our opinion, the very thing that actually helps us through the challenge of uh, sustainability. 
uh, and that's why I wanted to end with a quote. Um, can you go to the next slide? Uh, the, uh, the very things that hold you up uh, are going to lift you down, which is a quote by, uh, if you go to the next slide, it's, it's a quote by Dumbo. <laughs> Thank you very much.